Traditional Chinese medicine is one of the most complicated facets of complementary medicine and one of the most common questions we get at Bright Almond. It took me years in school to start to understand what traditional Chinese medicine was and how it related to some of our Western paradigms when it comes to thinking about health. Today we thought rather than listening to me talk about Chinese medicine, we would take you to the experts. We are in downtown Toronto at a clinic called Acu Toronto with traditional Chinese medicine practitioners Jasmine Sufi and Elise Yang, and we're going to have them do an assessment and treatment on me. This is Bright Almond TV. I'm Dr. Megan Walker, and welcome to our show. So welcome, um, Megan is here for an acupuncture treatment and I'm just here to show you what to expect during um, your first acupuncture session. So we've already done the initial con uh, consult where we've um, taken our history and done the tongue and pulse and today we're just going to de-stress Megan. So um, first of all you want an acupuncturist who's registered with the college CTC MPAO and um, what I'm first going to do, I'm just going to wash my Okay, so um, what we're working on with Megan is one of the organ system is liver um, and we're going to do a point on the hand, on the feet and just to also help support her spleen organ system, um, do a couple around the legs. So Megan, you can just relax your hands. I've just got an alcohol swab here, so I'm cleaning the areas I'm working with. And the needles are very thin. It's not painful at all. Um, there might be a short, a bit of sharpness, but um, overall, it's, uh, overall it's very relaxing. The needles are generally in the body for about, um, say, 25 minutes. And so the needles here, they all come prepackaged, sterilized stainless steel. So you don't want. Um, you want to make sure that's the case and not reusable needles. And first of all, uh, Megan, I'm going to start on your hands. Sure. You're going to feel a plastic tube against your skin, and then a quick tap. And with that, the needle's already in. Was that Amazing. painful? It was not painful. Okay, so I'm going to insert the needle to the required depth. And Megan, what you should feel is a bit of a dull sensation. Yeah. Um, tingling, maybe some heat. Oh. Maybe a reaction there. And then down to your feet. So the hands and feet are always a little bit more sensitive, but um, I think Megan's doing quite well so far. So here, um, we stimulated the organ system. Oh my gosh, I didn't think like this. <laughs> Everyone says that when they have acupuncture. That would be very nice if you did that for the acupuncture session, but it is not required. Okay, so here we've just um, supported the spleen system as well because when the liver's overworked, that's the organ system that gets easily affected. And then we'll do one last one, um, which I use quite often, is called Yin Tang. And this one we do to help keep the mind calm, um, clear, and um, if you meditate, this is where your third eye is. And it's quite relaxing and you just get a nice heavy sensation across the forehead and it feels like pressure, like someone's got their finger there. And now that all the needles are in, so usually about anywhere from 10 to 12 needles, maybe a little bit more are usually used um, during the treatment and the patient relaxes. And sometimes, um, yeah, we will we sometimes have a heat lamp here which we can use over the feet if it's uh, part of their constitution, it's very relaxing as well, and that gets left on for about 20 minutes or so. Okay, you're relaxed, Megan? I'm totally relaxed. Okay. I'll see you guys later. Yeah, see you. Okay, so it's been about 25 minutes. Um, I'm just gonna remove the heat. And Megan, how are you doing? I feel amazing. Great, so um, 10 minutes, and I did come around to stimulate the needles where we just stimulated a little bit to make sure Megan still has that nice, um, sensation, the d uh, dull ache, tingling, heavy sensation. So I'm just going to remove the needles. Megan, do you have any questions? I'm just, what else do you do when you're working with, with patients? Do you come in for acupuncture sessions and then 
Are you changing diet? Are you using herbs? What other things are happening with respect to treatment? That's a great question because um, part of what we do, uh, Chinese herbal uh, medicine is a big part of what we do um, and in terms of treatments for our patients. So for someone who's come in um, to say highly stressed, that's very common right. in practice. We would uh, combine um, Chinese herbs for maybe at least four weeks. Um, we have tea format where you just add boiling water um, and take it once a day. And these are uh, traditional Chinese herbs, not um, homeopathic. Or, right, right. Right. So that is uh, something we would definitely recommend to our patients as well. The taste is awful, so compliance might not be yeah. great. Um, but most of our patients, they get used to it, so they're able to continue that, and it really helps support um, their treatment. And how many treatments are people coming in for, and how frequently? So generally, say 68, but um, we do see patients uh, maybe on, um, closer to... 10 sessions if it's a chronic case. If it's for fertility, we'll follow our patients through for at least three cycles. Uh, frequency of once a week. Mm -hmm. Right. And normally is it once a week for people? Uh, ideally, yeah. Yeah. If it's acute pain, for instance, we'll want to see them a little closer. So it might be like three to four sessions, right. but um, twice a week maybe. Right. Yeah. And any of the other really cool TCM modalities like cupping or anything else? Do you yes, guys do those here too? that's a good one. Um, so we do cupping. Um, so we use a suction cup in, in the clinic. In our clinic, we can't use a fire, but if you may have seen um, glass cups used with uh, uh, fire. Um, another one is moxibustion, but again, we can't light anything in our clinic. I wish we could do it. So we have a heat lamp to kind of help um, stimulate those things. It's great. Yeah. Thank you.